There's an alarming new warning this morning about extreme weather across the U.S. A new report saying climate change is real and it's having a huge impact on our lives right now. And Ginger, you had a chance to speak with the president about this yesterday. I did, and it was an honor to get in there, ask some questions, not only of him, but his staff too, because it's a crucial time for the president. Climate change is one of those issues that he promised to attack. To get something done now, it has to happen right now for the entire administration. And as the report says, it needs to happen too for the planet. The extremes you see today. This is as close as we are going to get to this fire. We'll get even more extreme. That's the basis for the new National Climate Assessment Report released by the White House Tuesday, a report President Obama told me we must act on. The new report, the climate uh, situation that we're in, seems pretty dire. Uh, what do you think you can get done in the next two years? This climate assessment that's been done uh, over the course of four years really establishes that Climate change is already affecting Americans all across the country, in every region, although in different ways. And that's exactly how the report's laid out. If you live in the Northeast, the report says you'll see rising sea levels and a coast vulnerable to disastrous flooding. Every street in Atlantic City is almost underwater. The Southeast facing sea level rise. The rain here in Pass Christian is absolutely relentless. And for those in the Southwest, drought and extreme heat, which could mean even more intense wildfires. But the report isn't being celebrated by all scientists. The administration prefers to uh, address climate change by imposing regulations to try to reduce carbon dioxide emissions. I don't think it's going to pay out at the end because you're not going to see the effects. The president believes we should still lead others around the globe. And I wanted to know if his legacy would include a decision on that controversial proposal to expand an oil pipeline from Montana to Louisiana. It's a project called Keystone. Well, Keystone's probably not going to be the determinative factor. We're going to have to continue to uh, increase uh, the solar and wind power that we're using and other renewables. This is not some faraway thing. We can do something about it. And the president actually had a question for me, which was kind of cool. As I was walking away, he wanted to know what was the worst storm that I'd ever covered. My answers, Hurricanes Katrina and Sandy, mm. of course. And the other cool part is I did get to meet the dogs. Oh, <laughs> that was very, very nice. Well they are. They're so stoic. They're ready for pictures at any time. So it was a great visit, and I learned a lot. Good job. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ginger.